Okay, today we're going to open a Gmail. Okay, we're going to do that by going to our icon for our web browser, and again, we're using Google Chrome. We're going to wait for that to pull up. what I want you to see is uh, this Google Chrome isn't your default browser if you were using Internet Explorer something like that might pop up if you were using Firefox something like that might pop up we are going to use Google Chrome for the duration of these our, our lessons so we're going to set it as our default web browser um, you, what you'll notice is that it says sign in over here because of the fact that it's Google Chrome I'm sorry I'm sorry let me start that back over okay right here these are on almost every window that you will use in the Windows environment there are three icons I want you to remember the first one is minimize which will take it and put it to the task or the sorry the top taskbar at the bottom of the screen You'll notice down here it says Google Chrome. It has the little Google icon, little rectangle. If I click back on it, the single click, it will pop back up to the original location. And what I want you to see next is this square. This square is maximized. And what that's going to do is take the maximum space allowed of the screen and cover that with this program. And then, of course, the last one, which we're not going to actually click on, but is the X. The X is basically to close the program when we're finished using it. Alright, now what we want to do today is we want to set up a Gmail. Now, although there are many different ways that you can set up a Gmail thanks to Google, um, we're going to do it the simplest way that it allows, and that is we're just going to sign up for a Google account. Now, when I click sign in, because of the fact that we do not have a Google account it's gonna take me to a different page it's gonna take me to a page that says well actually it's, it's gonna take me to the same page for people to log in as well as newcomers okay what I want you to see is you have Google now over here in the top right and once you sign up for one part of Google, you sign up for every other part of Google. Um, you'll see here, sign up for a new Google account. There's one way to get to it. Right here is the sign in and the password, which we will use later. And you can see, cannot access your account, the sign in button, stay signed in, and the Google logo over here under accounts it says Google has more to offer when you sign into Google accounts sign into Google right now by using this part over here or create an account for free that's what we're going to do but before we do that I want you to take a look at three things that Google offers from the beginning Gmail which is our email service that we're going to set up personalized search which will based on the searches that you use throughout your time using Google it will personalize your searches based on things you've done in the past um, if you like Google and the different programs offered by Google you can make Google your home page we're going to talk about establishing a home page in another lesson but let's now go to create an account for free okay for this training video our first name is going to be BEDE -E, which is my blue eye dragon entertainment and last name is computer lessons we're going to create a username which will be later used as our email and for us uh, you can we're going to use BDE computer lessons, which then go to password. When I go to password, 
it's going uh, uh, you notice these little tabs that pop up you can use letters numbers and periods um over here password use at least eight characters don't use a password from another site or something too obvious like your pet name um you can go to the Y for more help on that or uh, there's other top we're just going to go through these steps kind of quickly here um pick a quick password here you'll see that it's, it as i type it in the password strength changes it's kind of strong that's okay um confirm password is just type typing the same word that you type up here to create the password down here uh, birthday we're going to use my birthday November the 13th year 1979 um, gender we're going to put male mobile telephone number uh, you can leave this blank so I'm going to put in my mobile number we're going to leave this blank for now um, alternate email if you have a different email with another company and this is to protect from people using computers to create bogus web uh, emails I'm sorry um, it's called a catch it my location is in the United States I do agree make sure that you select agree before you go to the next day uh, Google may use my account information to personalize versus content that's fine and we're going to go to the next step <coughs> one thing I want you to remember about Google Chrome is unless you go into your different features then it's going to show do you want to show Google Chrome to save your password um, for this um, I'm going to click the X and close that out you're all set it says number three welcome um, now you ready to search create and collaborate across all of Google pro products your new email address is the DE computer lessons at gmail.com thanks for creating the email have fun I'm going to create an account, have fun, and we're going to get started. See what you know just different is now over here, it has our email address letting us know that we're already signed in and we're good to go. Now, Google's email is called Gmail, and we're going to click on Gmail to take us to our email account. What, what's welcome to Google's new look and we're just gonna continue to the new look on this one you can read that on your own if you'd like uh, it happens with every new account okay now I want you to see is some very simple things over here are emails this is where it's from or whom it's from and these are the subjects with a little brief description uh, the a little bit of the email itself and what time it was sent um, up here is an advertisement this is to select all this is to refresh and see if you have new email uh, more options it's telling me I have one of three if it were more I could go further back and my email settings this folder that we're actually in is called the inbox uh, you can create folders which we'll talk about in a later chapter but um, they have some folders that are automatically there such as personal drafts and travel sent mail important and start and start is this little star you see right here uh, you can check them individually and of course the conversation which lets you know the different one we're going to start with the simplest thing composite email I want you to see that um, to who you're sending the email the subject and right here is our text or our body 
Now, um, you'll always notice that the bottom take a tour or send feedback. Send feedback is to let you let Google know uh, different things about your experience using Google. Uh, take a tour is to show you about uh, whatever part of Google you're using. The the tour is um, basic instructions for things to do. Right here, you see these icons. They're for changing your text to personalize your information. Um, attach a file is something that you might use often. You can attach almost any file. It's, um, has to be up to a certain amount of space. It's limited by space. You can always purchase more space per email. Um, we're going to do a simple email today, and that's just going to be to myself. I'm going to email King of Romance 69 at gmail.com. Uh, the subject is a test email from BEDE lessons I'm sorry computer lessons computer lessons I'll record that chat to file today but we are going to type some a body to this um, hello I just wanted to send my first email. Did you notice that as I was typing it says draft auto save to 12 at 1240 what it is is it took a copy of this email that I was starting and put it to my drafts folder so that if the computer was to just crash right now I can always go back to my draft folder and it'll have the last time it was auto saved and I can start typing without having to type the whole thing over but for this message we're done so what we're going to do is we're going to send it you'll notice the sending at the top and then it goes to say your message has been sent once it says your message has been sent you'll notice that it's no longer in the draft box and we are returned back to the inbox that's our lesson for today and I hope you'll join me next time